Hey guys, sorry I haven't done a video in a little while, but I haven't been feeling too great. Like right now my throat's hurting, I've been a little bit under the weather, so bear with me. There was a little drama between Monty and Justin, <sighs> so let me just get started, okay? So, really quick, Alex is still HOH, Danny and Shane are up on the block today, I believe think today. Today is the power veto competition and we find out America, uh, the third nominee that America voted for. I'm hoping it's either Morgan or Monty. We will see. But let's get started with the drama. So the other night, Monty, Morgan, and Danielle were in the bathroom. Justin came in to take a shower. Well, Morgan, her back was towards Justin and Monty. She was doing her makeup in the mirror that is closest to the toilet. Danielle was at the sink doing her hair. But Justin starts getting undressed like you do because, you know, you take showers naked. And from week one, day one, or whenever he first took his first shower in the Big Brother house, Justin has always gotten undressed outside of the shower he covers himself, he cups his nuts, and he cups his dick, and he makes sure it's not flapping around, even though I've seen his dick like three times. So, he isn't just running around like, mm -hmm. that's not what he's doing, Monty, so don't make it seem that way. So, he took his underwear off and all of that, and Monty was not okay with any of it. Why? Because he did it in front of Morgan. First off, Morgan, she wasn't the only lady in there, Monty. Danielle was in there too, but he only cares about Morgan, which is funny. Ugh, he's just so disgusting. He was not okay with it. And there's clips on YouTube. I even have a clip, but I'm not going to upload it because I don't want my channel to get taken down. So, you're gonna have to go find that stuff on your own, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, so, after that happens, you know, Morgan and Monty, they're, you know, walking around and talking, and stupid-ass Monty goes on to vent to Morgan, who wasn't even that phased by it. She really didn't even care, like, she literally, Monty, reacted for everybody. Like, he was more offended and pissed off than Morgan was and it was so weird and it was the weirdest thing and so Monty is venting to Morgan about how Justin's disgusting, how he's disrespectful to women, how he is sexist and then he proceeds to call Justin a bayou piece of shit. Oh, okay, okay, Monty, I see, I see you, buddy. And then, so, Morgan and Monty walk into the kitchen, and stupid-ass Shelby is sitting there. She wasn't even in the bathroom, but guess what this bitch does? She starts crying when Monty proceeds to tell her what happened. She starts crying. She was bawling her eyes out. Yes. She was crying. She started. Th she said that what he did was sexual assault. She is disgusting. Like I can't with her either. She is just as bad as Monty, in my opinion, but for different reasons. Monty, his issue is that he got naked in front of Morgan. Well, Monty, like I said, she wasn't the only chick in there. Danielle was in there, too. So it obviously wasn't that big of a deal because both Morgan and Danielle both said that they... Well, Danielle didn't even say anything because it wasn't a big deal. He wasn't rolling around, doing a helicopter with his dick. He wasn't shoving it in her face. He wasn't doing anything. He took off his underwear, covered himself with his hand, and put his underwear on the bench, and proceeded to get in the shower. Monty is acting as if Justin went into the helicopter with his dick next to Morgan's ear, and that is not even close to what happened. So Monty, pump those brakes, because you are doing too much. And Selby, you, you can go fuck yourself, because to say something like that could be super 
detrimental to Justin's business, Justin's family. Throwing out words like sexual assault and stuff like that. And it, it, could, it could do horrible things to him. And he didn't even do anything wrong. And the thing is, is that it could really affect him outside of the house. All it will take is one fan who doesn't care to look up the video and see for themselves, who takes her at her word and says, oh my god, Justin sexually assaulted somebody? Oh my god. And then writes a petition to get his business shut down or whatever. I don't know. All I do know is that it wouldn't be the first time. There's been people who have written petitions over the smallest things that fans have done and gotten fans, or gotten, uh, I mean, not fans, the smallest things that house guests have done, like Dan praying, or swearing on the Bible, they wrote a petition about that, got him fired, a bunch of people have written petitions, a bunch of fans have written petitions about past Big Brother house guests for doing nothing wrong, really, and getting them fired, getting their businesses shut down, whatever it is. And I could totally see a crazy fan doing that. Like, I'm waiting for it. I'm expecting it to happen. And I really, really hope it doesn't because it was ridiculous. And he did not even do... I mean, Monty made it seem like he straight up took his dick and shoved it in Morgan's face. And he didn't! That's what's so frustrating. But what's even worse is Shelby wasn't even in the bathroom. She didn't even see any of this happen. Yet she's sitting there crying, saying this kind of crap. Like, oh my god. Like, it gives me a headache. And see, my throat hurts. And then this happened, and I'm just like... <sighs> Anyway, so next day, sorry, and yes, I'm in a onesie, so next day, um, they reveal the have-nots, yeah. Monty's ass, Morgan, and Scott are have-nots, which I am super pumped about, I wanted Shelby to be at that, Blech. I wanted Shelby to be a have-not, but I'll settle for Scott because he's gross, too. Um, a lot of the people in chat call Scott Ratatouille, and I'm like, oh my god, no. Ratatouille was adorable. Scott? Mm -mm, I just don't like him either. Uh, but, so, it was super funny because they went and saw the have-not room, which I think is really cool. It's, like, haunted kind of theme. There's, like, uh, like, the, on the wall, it says, like, Haunted Mansion or something like that. And the lettering is, like, it reminds me of a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I just love the whole decor. Only thing I can't do is those spiders. Like, there is fake spider, like, a fake tarantula sticker up on the wall. Can't do that. There's, like, a fake tarantula over on the side. No. That would be my issue. I couldn't do that. Real or fake, I don't fuck with spiders. And so, they... <laughs> Scott's so stupid. <laughs> so they go see the have not room, and Scott proceeds to go into the London room to gather his belongings and move them, and he is crying. Crying. In the London room, crying his eyes out, reminding himself to be strong, to not let them see you weak, to not let them see you cry, and... I was just sitting there, I was like, is he crying? <laughs> like, I couldn't help but laugh. It's kind of, it, it reminded me a lot of when Jen from Big Brother 8 cried over her damn picture on the memory wall. That's what it reminded me of. And I couldn't help but laugh at that. Like, it was so stupid. Oh, Scott, you silly goose. Silly little lamb. So later that day, well, not even later that day, 20 minutes after that, uh, Danielle proceeds to tell Justin while they're outside that earlier Monty had said that Justin probably stole his clothes, 
Like, well, because, okay, so Danielle, Shelby, Monty, and I think Morgan was out there. I can't fully remember, but I know that there was at least one or two other people. They were outside in the smoking corner talking about Justin's clothes. Why? I can't remember. I don't know. But I do remember that they were talking about how he wears a lot of higher-end stuff, like Ralph Lauren, stuff like that. And Monty made some slick-ass comment like he does about how Justin probably stole his clothes and implying that he can't afford Ralph Lauren, implying that he can't afford higher-end brands like that, which is bonkers because all you would have to do is go to Norton's Rack and you could totally buy uh, high-end brands for way cheap. So, stupid Monty for f paying full price when you could just go to Norton's Rack. Like, really? Uh, but, so, that was what that conversation was, and so, while they're all inside looking at the slop and doing all that stuff, Justin's outside getting pissed, getting heated, like, nothing else, like, he was obviously livid, because he took it personally, he took it, like, Justin was being racist, implying that because he's black or whatever, that he can't afford such a brands and and things like that not even just this comment though it wasn't just this comment that made justin feel the way he does just like it's not just this comment that makes a lot of fans despise monty it is a bunch of things that he has said over the only two weeks that they have been there and it's just a bunch of stuff that he has said all combining, creating, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, I mean, at, at one point, at some point, it's going to burst. And that's just what happened. So, he's going to, he's in, he's outside getting heated. Monty's inside looking at the slop, being silly, whatever he does. I don't even know. Um, and then, so, Justin, you know, after Jason kind of cooled him down just a little bit, Justin went inside he was, like, washing his hands or whatever. They were all in the kitchen, and one of the lights went out. It, like, burst. And so production had them go outside so they could fix it. Well, whilst going from the sink to outside, Justin proceeded to tell Monty to go fuck himself. And then that's when, you know, because everybody heard him. And they were, as they were walking out, they were like, what did he just say? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, what's... Like, I don't understand. And Monty, even he was like, what? Like, you know, being stupid. And so Justin walks out, and they're all looking at him because they're all surprised. They're like, what's going on? And, you know, Justin gets pissed, and he's like, don't look at me. And Monty goes and says, like, I don't know what you've been told, but you need to calm down. And then Justin tells him, he's like, fuck you, you can go suck a dick. And he walks away. And after that, it's just awkwardness outside until production lets him back inside. Justin, he goes inside. And then, of course, naturally, because Monty can't do shit to Justin's face, Monty uh, goes on to talk more shit about Justin. He also goes on to say that, oh, it must have been Scott. Scott must have told him something I said. You know, it must be Scott. Like, he was trying to blame Scott. And, you know, after a little while, things cooled down. Uh, Justin came back outside. He even hugged it out with Monty. He was like, you know, whatever. We can just drop it. Like, it's cool. Like, sorry. It is what it is. Let's just move on. And so Justin thought that everything was cool. Well, apparently not because Monty goes on into the damn storage room and continues to talk mad shit about Justin to Shelby and Alex and Morgan, which was so funny because they just squashed it. They just talked it out or whatever. They hugged it out. Like, this is ridiculous. But nope, he's back up in that damn storage room saying that, you know, uh, Justin's disrespectful, that he's a bad dude, that he's terrible, while trying to say that he isn't racist or he isn't so, like, he isn't what he is. And I don't necessarily know if I could consider Monty completely racist, but he's definitely on his way, 100%. The 
the guy does not think before he damn speaks. If he's not racist, then he's a complete damn idiot. Because the things that come out of his mouth make zero sense and can be taken in a prejudice kind of way. He is definitely judgmental of others, 100%. He seems to think that he is the top shit. He is definitely arrogant, beyond arrogant, actually. And he is definitely, 100%, singling out certain people in the house for no reason. Monty has disliked Justin and talked shit about Danielle and talked shit about and disliked Jason since day, like, three, two or three is when he started talking shit about them. Talking shit about them, saying that they are bad people, that, um, that Danielle's a bitch, that she's spoiled, that, you know, Justin's a disrespectful dude, that he's sexist, that he's not smart, that he's a Bayou piece of shit, that Jason is disgusting, that he is a terrible person for not liking Whitney. Just a bunch of stuff. Even He's even talked a lot of crap about Neely and Chrissy. And I just want people to understand and realize that it isn't just one reason. Like, it isn't just one thing that Monty has said, which has gotten people to feel the way that they do. A lot of fans seem to think that it's this one incident, which is why people are so pissed off and feel the way that they do about Monty. And that's not even the case. It's not just this one thing. It's been a bunch of things. And like I said, I have the clips, but I mean, if you could tell me a way to turn to like upload them somehow, some way without getting in trouble, then let me know in the comments because I have them, but I don't want to upload them onto my YouTube because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want my YouTube to get taken down. I have a shitload of clips about everything. Like, there's some things that uh, Monty has said, but I also have a lot more, like, funny clips. Back to what I was saying, though. It isn't just one thing. There are clips out there. There are other people who watch feeds way too much, like I do. Like, I watch feeds. Like, it's embarrassing how much I watch feeds. So, we do hear and see a lot of the things that he says and does that are suspect. So... Perhaps he should really learn to think before he speaks because he's going down a very, very rocky ass road. And, but at the same time, we can't be surprised. We can't act shocked that this is happening. I called it from day one. I said that there is a shitload of Southern people in that day. Oh my God. And that's what's so funny is that they went to. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot to say this. It is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Monty is up in the HOH room, and he proceed and he goes on to say that America dislikes him because he's pretty. We voted him and Morgan to be have-nots because they're pretty and they have pretty bodies, and we are all liberals. Apparently, according to Monty, all Big Brother fans are liberals, okay, which I know to be very false. And we all dislike him because he's pretty. This is the shit that comes out of his mouth. And then you wonder why we don't like him. It's because he says things like this. Like, he's so pretty. Oh my god, it's Monty. Let's all hate him because he's so pretty. No, Monty. It's because of the things that you say out of your mouth. And even Alex and Morgan... The rarity, the rare time that they get even a second alone together without Monty being obsessed over Morgan. He's not, a, like, he's obsessed over Morgan and Shane. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, but even they said, like, he really needs to, like, think before he speaks. He, he needs to stop saying some things. Like, even they acknowledge the fact that he is saying really, really bad things that could be misinterpreted. Or that could be just, I don't even know, but can't be good. So, like I said earlier, today is the Power Veto competition, and we get, to, <clears throat> ugh, we get to find out who America nominated as the third nomination. Morgan or Monty, please. Um, 
So, yeah. So tell me in the comment section below what you guys think. I don't want you guys to think that if you're a Monty fan or whatever, that you're not welcome. Of course you're welcome. I love all Big Brother fans. Speak your mind in the comment section. If you don't agree, respectfully say you don't agree. But don't go, like, talking mad shit because that's not cool. Like, if you don't agree that what Monty said was wrong, just say it nicely. Like, it is what it is. Like, we can all have opinions about this. It's cool. I don't mind. I don't care. I love all Big Brother fans. I love all fans in general. Um, even Aaron fans. I love Aaron fans. I love whatever fans. You know, if you love Big Brother, then I got love for you. So don't think that just because I strongly hate him. <laughs> That we can't be friends. Let's be friends, okay? Okay, buddy? <laughs> um, like I said in my other video, I'm going to be doing my Poland story time thing soon. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be doing my American Horror Story. You guys, this season, like, I can't. Like, in the last episode, that guy, he got his fucking guts, like... She got her arms ripped off. I, I, whew. And I was eating, too, when I was watching. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> but, so I'm going to be doing my videos. I'm going to be doing my Bad Girls Club videos. Uh, my real world videos when they start with the stupid season, which is in Seattle. Like, come up with something new, MTV. Like, throw them somewhere. Like, go, take them to Canada or something. I don't know. The Seattle again? Like, really? <sighs> Fine. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye!